to an overview of the selective high school placement test for writing. Overall test structure. The writing component for the selective high school placement test is 30 minutes long. There is only one given part with one question. Students are often given a short scenario of around two to three sentences followed with an instruction on how to respond. Test paper, writing paper, can be found at the given link. The information provided in the test paper is designed to be vague. This encourages students to be flexible, adapt and think outside the box when necessary. Topics provided often require factual interpretation which mainly relate to the information report category. There are often multiple subcategories which further allow students to adjust their writing depending on the topic of the question and the type of writing it is asking for. Some of these may include advice columns, introductions, recommendations or proposals, functions, classification and description. While they are very similar, there are slight differences to be aware of. Sample advice column. The question is brief but can be split into three parts, topic, scenario and instruction. The scenario indicates that three students have arrived in the local area and the aim is to welcome them and make them feel enthusiastic about coming to school. The instruction indicates that the structure should be that of an advice sheet which will provide information to the new students so that they get to know more about the school and the local area. Sample approach. In regards to responding to this specific question, an advice column aims to provide advice, suggestions, ideas and tips. It should be clear, concise and the tone of voice should be welcoming. When considering what information to include, think about special features or circumstances that new students should be aware of at school. Also, think about unique local area landmarks or specialties that would allow new students to feel welcomed. By focusing on the context of your writing, this can make your response unique and stand out. This is an ideal student response. Here, we will outline the key components to notice when creating your own response. So we can see that the student has separated the two parts into describing the school and then describing for the local area. So for the first part, if we read through this together, for the new students who have come to Blacksell Street Public School as part of the OC class, this advice sheet contains all the information to help you adjust here. Automatically in the first two lines, we can see this advice sheet is aimed for the new students. They are going to this school and the advice sheet contains all the information to help them adjust here. So this is outlining what it is, who it's for and what it aims to do. Then at BSPS, there are many opportunities and places to explore. Blacksell Street is accessible by walking or taking the bus. Most students in the previous OC classes came and left by bus, which stops at various places on its way to Parramatta. So this outlines the location. At the front of the school, there is a kiss and drop off area behind parking spots. The front school gates open as early as 7 a.m. and closes after 3.20 p.m. There are three toilet blocks, one for kindy to year two, one for years three to four, and one near your classroom for years five to six. So this is key essential information that every student or anyone at the school would need. Your classroom is on the right side of and upper flight of stairs from the years five to six toilet block. There are 27 other students who will welcome you to your new classroom. Lunch breaks are 30 minutes long with a five minute eating time, which means all students must be seated. 
So this final line is again another essential part of adjusting to this school. If we move on to the local area in which this school is situated in, we see that Granville is a bustling suburb that has plenty of bus stops and places to eat. One popular place to eat is Sawa Reba, which is located opposite BSPS. This cafe has a range of food and drink choices from ice cream to Oreo cakes, cheesecakes, and many more. So clearly, this is a place or a significant local icon for this area, which has a range of food and drink choices, which is what the student aims to focus on for this particular area. Right beside this cafe is a gas station, again indicating where things are situated in this area. A car washing station and another cafe. On the other side, there is a butcher and a supermarket. There are many parks surrounding BSPS where many sport excursions and carnivals take place. So, so indicating that there are many parks around the school also indicates that there are many sport excursions and carnivals to take place here, which also suggests that many school activities do not require a lot of traveling. They are all within perhaps walking distance from school. To ensure child safety across the road during peak hours, there is always a guardian who controls traffic near the zebra crossing. This is some more information or advice to parents to allow them to stop worrying because there is supervision going on. Granville somewhere you will quickly fit in. BSPS has various rules to protect its pupils from injury and supervision is strict at all times. There are many places to grab something quick and yummy. There are also many routes to school so it won't be hard to find. Granville is the best new area that you can fit in. So essentially this last paragraph does not provide much specific advice in telling you how to adjust. It is reassuring you that this is an area where you will be able to fit in quite quickly and basically advice to you in an indirect way, suggesting you that there is nothing to worry about. So this is an ideal student response and it's something that you should model your answers upon. You don't need to include a lot of difficult language, but understanding the question and carefully pinpointing what it's asking for is the key part to correctly answer the question for your writing. Tips. Note that the information given in the writing questions are usually vague and unclear. Students need to interpret the question based on their own understanding and decipher what should and shouldn't be included. Prior to writing, it is highly recommended for students to plan or create a draft. This allows students to have an idea of what they intend to write. Last but not least, students should also leave around five minutes at the end to proofread their work and prevent themselves from losing marks due to careless mistakes. Thank you.